Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at work solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam that will be sat by students studying a BTEC Level 3 National in Engineering. Now the document that we're referring to in particular today are the sample assessment materials for the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam and this document is issue 2 that is or has previously been available on the Edexcel website. Question 2 reads, two grooves are being milled into a piece of steel. The motion of the cutter is represented by the following simultaneous equations. And we have two simultaneous equations. Equation 1 states that 20y equals 30x plus 9. And equation 2 states that minus 3y equals 1.5x minus 6. And what the question wants us to do is find the coordinate, or the x and y coordinates, where the grooves cross. Now what we basically have here is we have two equations for straight lines. And let's say, for example, that if we were to plot equation 1, we end up with a straight line that looks something like this. And if we were to plot equation 2, we end up with a straight line that looks something like this. Those two lines will cross at a unique point. And what this question is asking us to do is to find the x and y values at that point. So we're going to solve the simultaneous equations and we're going to find the unique values of x and y that make both of those equations true at the same time. We have two different methods that we can use to solve simultaneous equations. We can solve by substitution or we can solve by elimination. Now, in order to solve by elimination, what we would need to do is multiply either equation 1 or equation 2 by a number that would either set the coefficients of y as being the same in both equations, or would set the coefficients of x as being the same in both equations. Now from inspection, I can see that if I multiply equation 2 by 20, so 20 times equation 2, then we will end up with 30x here. We'll then have 30x in equation 1 and 30x in equation 2. So I'm going to do that first of all. I'm going to write 20 times equation 2. And I'm going to multiply each term in equation 2 by 20. So minus 3y times 20 gives me minus 60y. We've already said that 1.5x times 20 gives me 30x. And minus 6 times 20 is minus 120. I'm calling that equation equation 3. Now the next function that I need to do is either to subtract equation 3 from equation 1 or subtract equation 1 from equation 3. Either of those functions will eliminate the x variables. So let's rewrite equation 1 down here. Equation 1 was 20y equals 30x plus 9. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do equation 1 minus equation 3. And I could just as easily have done that the other way round. But by doing it this way round, all of my terms are going to remain positive. So if we look at the y terms first of all, we have 20y in equation 1 minus minus 60y from equation 2. Well, minus a minus is a plus. So what I actually have is 20y plus 60y, which is 80y. Now, on the right-hand side, I have 30x minus 30x, which is just 0. They just cancel each other out. So moving to my terms that don't involve x or y, I have 9 from equation 1 minus minus 120 from equation 3. A minus and a minus is a plus. So 9 plus 120 is 129. Now all I'm left with is a simple linear equation. 80y equals 129. Well, if I divide each side of that by 80, I'll just get y equals 129 over 80, which equals 1.6125. So I've found my y coordinate for this unique point where the two lines cross. All I need to do now is find my x coordinate. 
Now here's the important thing. I can use any of the equations. I could use equation one, I could use equation two, I could even use equation three. And what I'll be looking to do is substitute in my value for y and the only unknown remaining will be x. So let's switch colors and I think we'll go for equation one. And equation one stated that 20y, well I know what y is now, y is 1.6125 equals 30x plus nine. So let's simplify the left hand side because 20 times 1.6125 is just 32.25. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get x on its own. So the next thing that I need to do to each side of the equation that we have there is subtract 9 from each side. Subtracting 9 from the left hand side leaves me with 23.25 and subtracting 9 from the right hand side just leaves me with 30x. So rewriting that, 30x equals 23.25. Now all that's left to do is to divide each side by 30, so I get x equals 23.25 over 30 which equals 0 0.775. So my coordinates, if I want to state this fully, is as follows. X is 0 0.775, when Y is 1.6125. And that will make both of these equations true, equation one and equation two.